This year at Cisco Live, we have a heck of a milestone to celebrate here in the DevNet Zone. And for that, I have my buddy Matt to talk about the DevNet 10 year anniversary, yes. which is, I, I kind of feel like we should just have like explosions on the screen when that's <laughs> happening. But Maybe that happens. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine, everyone just imagine that just happened. Yeah. Um, Matt, you've been in DevNet, you've been working in DevNet basically since before DevNet was DevNet. Yeah. Uh, one of the longest running in the group. Yes. What's it been like? Um, Tell us what it's been like. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, just like anything that runs for 10 years, it's had its up and ups and downs. Um, you know, in the early days, it was a little hectic and honestly a little scary. Uh, you know, we were we were trying to do something that Cisco had never done before, which was create a developer program. And for those of you that have been around with DevNet in the last 10 years, you know that building a developer program within a hardware company is very challenging. Um, and so we had uh, some fits and starts, but there was a general, uh, the, the really cool part was there was a general, general level of excitement from our customers and partners that we engaged with. The stuff that we started putting out was really exciting for our audience. And um, you know, the, the first Cisco Live that we did in, in uh, San Francisco in 2014, we held a hackathon overnight. And uh, you, we would have thought no one was gonna come. We ended up having a full set of teams that showed up. We probably had I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 40 people come. Um, stay overnight, code, hack away, and uh, I, I was one of the people that stayed up and mentored the teams, um, and it was it was a ton of fun, and, and it was like my actually original exposure to to a hackathon um, kind of ethos, and so it was really cool because we were um, trying to run a startup within a company, which was which was really interesting um, and super fun. But we had to we had to show our value, and I think uh, that first Cisco Live in San Francisco was the validation of efforts that we had put in starting in 2013, which is why we're celebrating the 10 year now, uh, to set everything up with developer.cisco.com and learning labs and sandbox and everything that we had done, and then just the crowds came in droves, and it was really exciting. It's you know it. I, I remember hearing that, sorry, I wasn't at that Cisco Live, but I can remember, I think it was almost a year later, or maybe some time later, then we had the that DevNet Creator other event in that same space at the mall in, yeah, San, yeah, yeah. in San Francisco. And I remember being at that and like, what the heck is this? Yeah. But having a blast doing it. And the number of people that showed up to try to figure out, like, what is this? I don't, so, and so I'm like, especially those early days, so many people were like, I'm not really even sure what this is, but I'm really, really loving it. Yeah. Like, I just like being here around these conversations that so many people just had not expected. And I think to a degree that even propagates to today in places like the DevNet Zone we're at now is so many people were there coming through the classrooms and set workshops and theater sessions. Many of them have experience, they've been working with our APIs, they've been building things or using things that exist to automate, but so many people that come through just, this is their first experience with doing anything related to programmability or more importantly and probably more broadly, the idea of automation, like yeah. what that means. Um, if you had like one, like, fun story to tell about like your experiences in DevNet over the last 10 years, like just one thing that stood out that was like, this was an absolute blast. There's a lot, but you had to oh, pick man. one. This is an absolute blast. So I will I will cite that, that first um, Cisco Live that we did because like I said, we didn't know if people were gonna show up and um, we didn't really under, fully understand the appetite that people had for programmability and automation. Software defined networking didn't really have that term yet. Um, you know, controller level, Automation was just coming into focus, and uh, like understanding that we could maybe program the network was like a newish idea, and so we weren't sure. And and um, I will say that uh, the way where we were laid out, you had to go up an escalator, and when I came up that escalator, it was like seas of people. I mean, shoulder to shoulder, clamoring for uh, learning lab space, clamoring for the next API talk. And uh, I got chills down my spine, and, and I remember at the end of that week we were, you know, decompressing and and uh, doing a little post mortem of, of the week. And I said, "This is the best week of my career." I mean, it just was so fantastic. And that same energy that we had that day has we've we've really attempted to, and I think succeeded in most instances, bringing that to all the Cisco lives, all the DevNet zones, all the virtual events that we've that we've done, and even just you know day to day basis on developer.cisco.com. We're trying to to be that. Um, edge of, of technology group, and that's, I mean, in general, been the most exciting part. I mean, I could still tell stories all day long right. <laughs> if you wanted to. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, 
so I've been in I've been in DevNet now for just over three years. Like actually working. I've been at Cisco longer, but just over that. And I can remember I've told this story a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. But for folks who either work at Cisco or kind of know this, uh, Cisco has for its sales group has a annual conference. It's like the kickoff to the sales year. And I it was there one year, and there's I was an SE at the time, so a sales engineer. And there was a big SE session. All the all SEs, like six thousand SEs, in this room at the MGM or whichever conference center it was at. And our the head of the SEs gets up there, starts talking for a few minutes, and then brings Susie. We, who's yeah. what, the person who basically started DevNet. And she comes on stage and they announce this big Tiger team and this event series. And I, the, like the energy in the space, so all these SEs, messaging managers, like, get me into this program, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna lead this. And it, it just kicked off this whole wave of yeah. SEs and others wanting to bring these things to their customers and conversations they were having. I, I just remember being in that space like, oh my gosh, this is, I would have never thought of doing this in my entire network administration career. And then also I'm like, no, no, I, I don't know why, but I need to be a part of this. Yeah. This is really rad. It was, it was fun. That specific in, uh, instance was fun because we were having a hard time scaling. You know, when we first started, our group was maybe 30 people at best. Um, and we've grown since then, but we didn't know how to like get out to the customers in the best way possible that scaled really well. And, and that commitment from the field engineering teams and them saying, we really think automation is important. We really want to bring that to our customers. That was fantastic. It allowed us to, to build out the DevNet Express program, um, which is now DevNet Test Drive. So if you're interested, check that out. Um, and it, it, really, it really brought to the forefront at the customer line to say, hey, this is something that, that we think would be beneficial to you. And that's really the kind of the cool part of all of this is like, it's not necessarily that we're going, hey, buy this product, do this thing because it makes us money. We're doing this because we gen like genuinely believe it will help you in your roles, it'll help your organization. It's, it's a growth um, activity that is worth looking into. And so that's the exciting part of all, all of it is, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, yeah, we're a company and we want to make money, but there's an altruism that is part of DevNet that drives that excitement. It's nerds trying to figure stuff out and build things, and there's no better enjoyment for that you know, than, than in, you know, in the DevNet zone, on developer.cisco.com, in the community spaces. I mean, at the end of the day, this is all built on top of, or built because of community. Because, yeah, right. I mean, I'm, no one, if you're watching the video, you can't tell, but where I'm looking out at the entire DevNet zone right now, where I'm sitting, and to see all the people in our theater and other places, this is why we're here. The, yeah. whole, the whole reason we do this is to exactly what you said. It's to help people find a sense of belonging with others who are trying to solve problems too, and they're just trying to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Um, so as we wrap up, it, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're here for the entire week. You're not watching this till after Cisco Live, but that's okay. We are we are celebrating our 10-year anniversary this year. Let's all year, say. all year long. All year um, long. We keep it, keep an eye out. We're going to have a virtual event in the middle of March. Um, so keep an eye out for any uh, advertisements for that. Um, it'll be what, a two-hour session, yeah. telling stories and talking about the future. And you know, if you were an old dev netter and you're coming back into the fold, um, I think you're going to find some really exciting things going on. Uh, we're really doubling down on, on DevNet. Um, we're doubling down on community. Uh, my buddy Jeff here is, is running a ton of new uh, community initiatives. And so um, <clears throat> a really exciting time. I feel like we're, we're being reborn a little bit right yeah. now. Yeah. It's like a revitalization like? of the, the yeah. feelings people have had for a long time. And we're just like, okay, cool. Let's, let's really get this back together. Let's yeah. get the gang back together. We've again. always been there. But yes. now we're coming back with a vengeance. Yeah, <laughs> so we're really excited. And, and yeah, check out for that virtual event. And um, we're, we're actually celebrating on developer.cisco.com yeah. all year long. Uh, there's a 10-year page that you can check out. You can uh, hit that from the homepage. It's got a history of DevNet, uh, how it's fit into the industry, um, some fun stories from old DevNetters and myself and Jeff. And um, you know, just keep an eye on that because it's, it's really fun. Uh, it's been awesome to be part of something like this for 10 years. And I can't, you know, I, I don't think I could work for another 30 years and I don't think I'll ever be part of anything as um, impactful and uh, wonderful as DevNet's been. What else can you say about that? What else can you say about that? Thanks, Matt, for being here. I appreciate <laughs> Thanks, it. You, Happy 10th anniversary to DevNet. Enjoy the rest of your Cisco Live videos. We'll see you soon.